What time is it? It's time for Adventure Time Drawing! I'm finally going to do another Adventure Time Drawing. Everyone has been requesting like crazy. So I finally got to it. And this time we're going to do the Earl of Lemongrab. He's been popular. Tons of people I want to draw him. So I'll teach it the easiest way and the best way I can. But basically with this character, like every other character, it's all about proportions. you got to remember how long things are compared to other things and shapes. So for him, I'll start with the head. And for the basic head shape, you know, it really is just this long lemon head shape. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's a lemon head. I got a lemon for a head. I think I might be dead. Help me someone. But basically as it gets towards the top, it doesn't curve inward, but it just curves up. And so the neck is wider than the top. So start with the horizontal line here for the neck. Then just kind of design it out. As it gets towards the top, it peaks inward. You got a little... Kind of like that, just this little part on the end. And then the other side, same thing. And the widest points are towards the tops and the sides as it gets. So you now you get this lemon shape. And I'm just sketching it. It's going to be sketchy you now. I'm not going to make it look finished. But as long as you guys learn and can do it. So you have this shape. And take your time doing the shape because this is probably the most complicated shape of the whole drawing. Like that. And then for the rest, now that you got that, you can start measuring points. His body is barely, barely a little longer than that. So just measure by eye, use your fingers, take your pencil and mark like that. And, but the body is a little longer than this. So for the body, I'm going to make it about right here. I'm just making a mark and then I'm going to make a very simple rectangular shape to mark it like that. And he's skinny. His body is skinny like a lot of the characters on the show. So I'm just doing that. And then here's the bottom where the legs are going to attach. So now you can see you got this, oh my gosh it looks like a candle almost. So you just got this real simple shape. So try and follow along. Uh, make sure you keep it simple. And for this drawing, I'm going to have his arms raised in the air because he's doing those crazy things. This is, I can't do a good voice. This is un unacceptable. I can't do a good lemon grab. I can do other characters kind of unacceptable. I'm trying to remember how I drew. Oh yeah, so the arms should be just up in the air. And they're fairly long, so just and skinny. So make one coming out this way. Dungeon for seven years. I love this character. He is crazy. So you got these long arms. You can make them pretty long. I'm gonna make this one. I'm just like I said, have him raised in the air. Look like he's going crazy. He's a crazy lemon. He's got too much acid in his head. Yeah, I can't take it. So just like that. So follow these curved lines, very simple lines. And then for the shirt and outfit, two little buttons. So right here, make a line down here. Then one little button, two. And don't worry if things aren't coming out exactly like this. You know, it is a sketch, so you just got to feel it out. There's always going to be different parts when you do a sketch. You got that. And then what you want to do is uh, for the body, We'll save the face for last because in case the face is important. So let's we'll jump around. So the body, uh, make a line about halfway of the length we did here. Make a leather line. And then very important, we'll draw the sword first being that it's in front of it. The sword shape, start with this little oval. It sits about right here. Just this little, little oval. Start right there. And then the end of the sword comes up. It's got like a little circle shape at the end. So just follow along with these shapes. 
then bring it back up right here. So real simple shape like that and erase any lines that are under it just erase and for the rest of the sword it goes all the way down and it's about as long, a little longer than his head shape so make sure kind of mark put a dot right here for the length and I would just draw a center line so it's about that long and then bring it out, you can use a ruler I actually have a ruler for one, so I'm going to use that. Just follow it. Sometimes I don't like drawing a ruler for a sketch because sometimes it looks, you know, every other line is kind of fluid and dynamic, and then when you put a ruler down right away, you can tell this line is way too straight. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. So you got the sword shape like that. Oh, it's looking good! <laughs> then for the end of the sword, a little ridge there. Like that. And then the top part has a little circle shape. I don't know if it's a lemon or not, but it is yellow. So a little circle shape. Then you could just darken it in. Make little small lines. And for that, and then you have lines on here. A little circle shape for the end of the sword. So the sword is the comp, probably the more complicated thing to draw on this character. Sword. So, so just follow those shapes for the sword. Make sure you get it down because like I said it is complicated. Then bring across the ribbon. The Earl of Levin Lemongrab badge. Then you got a little lemon shape. So just a little circle, half circle there. Then make the lemon come across, half circle there. I love drawing Adventure Time characters. So glad I finally got to do one. People have requested tons and tons. I'll probably draw Gunther next. So you got that little symbol. So you got that so far. And now for the legs, this is crazy, but the legs are about half the whole length of the whole body. So very important you get proportions. I can't stress proportions enough. It makes a big, big difference. Because a lot of times you draw something and it won't look right. And the main reason is because the proportion isn't right. Something's off, something's not right. Uh, and always use measurements. Use, like I say, when you're looking, view it. Like right now, you have this. His legs are about as long as his entire body. So from this length, it's almost as long as my pencil. I'm just going to slide the paper up. And you can see, I'm just drawing from there. But the pencil, I'm going to make a mark right here. And it's crazy because that doesn't look right. Where I made the mark. It's like, what the heck, that looks way too long. But you'll see once I draw them in, uh, it actually surprisingly will look right. So that's as long as it is. Maybe a little shorter, but just judge it by. I'm just making a mark on the bottom here. So simply bring one leg down. And the legs, real simple, skinny, just like the other characters, real simple, skinny legs. You just want to curve it down, but you can see how long it is. Just keep remembering the measurements and doing things like that. Then he's got these little boots. Real skinny feet, too. So that's one foot. Then for the other, you want to make it right next to it, so just bring it down. Little boot shape again. Make sure both boot shapes look about the same. There you go for the feet. So, so far, 
But so far we got the body, so once again just check your measurements, make sure head, remember the head shape is about the body is a little bit longer than that, so just check all your marks, head shape a little longer, legs are about the size of the whole body so there's so far you got this in so let's finish up with the face and we'll be done here the sleeves cover only up to certain part of his arms, the sleeves to just make little tiny fingers little tiny fingers like that, put three you know, adventure time fingers, one, two, three, real small he got that I'm just darkening the lines now for the face Simplest way is you don't have to draw the line, but imagine there's a line right halfway. And basically you have the eyes and the nose. The nose is the longest part. So the nose kind of erase somewhere in this area. And bring the nose. I'm going to rotate the paper so you can see. And it curves kind of upward. His nose but you want to make sure it's long and pointed at the end, that's important. And at the end it doesn't, it's not too skinny, I made it too skinny. I'm going to restart. Let me draw the eyes first. The eyes, I'm trying to think of a good expression here. It kind of like shape like this there's one then the other eye and don't forget he has like two little marks under the eyes then the other eye like this almost cat like eyes they kind of curve in like that and the other one so make sure the oval shape like that and then for the nose like I said it just comes from right here between the eyes and the other one It doesn't get too skinny, but it just closes like that. There we go. Very important you get the nose. And last but not least, the mouth. I think the best thing, he's got so many different shapes, so he's got teeth. So I'm just for this one, I'm going to make, make the shape like this. Arching down. and put the tongue in the background he's got a weird shaped tongue and his teeth I'm just going to do the top row of teeth and there's how you do the face the face is the fun part to draw so you got that and that's oh yeah now we're almost done we just finished and the lines too little marks on the eyes So just to finish up, darken all the lines we made and take a number two. This is a paper mate number two, really gives good lines. And just all the lines we did, just darken up and make it look nice and finished. If you learned something, please like the video. I hope you learned. I hope it helped. This is the Earl of Lemongram. Man, I have fun doing this. I love doing Adventure Time drawings.
And I'm just finishing up. Erase any guidelines or any lines that shouldn't be there. Basically, that's it. I don't think anything else. The boots, make sure you make the boots black. Just really darkening these lines. Darkening behind the mouth. That's yeah, pretty much it. Just the boots and you can shade in whatever parts you want. Shade in the costume and the rest, and then you're good to go. Oh yeah, send me your drawings. I'd love to see it. Uh, send in your lemon grab drawings. I'll post them on Facebook. You can send it to my email, the drawing zone at gmail.com, or you can send it on my Facebook. I have a Facebook. Just click the link on my channel's main page. And yeah, definitely send it. I'll post them up on Facebook and tell everyone you guys did the lemon grab drawing. There you go, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. More videos on the way. Keep watching, guys. Lots more to come. Thank you, everyone.